What's up, you guys? I'm B. Simone. And I'm Megan Ashley. And welcome to the Know For Sure podcast, where we talk about healing, growing, evolving, and having the tough conversations. Yes, and we also talk about relationships, not just romantic relationships, but platonic relationships. Like the relationship I have with my best friend, Megan Ashley, of 20 years. 20 years, baby. Yes, baby. Do you know for sure? I think I know for sure. But what I do know for sure is after this episode, you're going to know something for sure. Okay. <laughs> y'all, as y'all can see, it's already crazy. We're laughing. We're talking. We have some beautiful guests. If you are not watching, you need to head over to YouTube or Patreon and watch this episode. I am B. Simone. And I'm Megan Ashley. And we're back. Boom. We're back, y'all. And we got some beautiful guests. We having a fireside chat. We got the 85 South show on the couch. Yeah. We had How did we get all them together? Y'all see what we did for y'all? Every episode we, in the house. That, yeah, we in the one place with a few mics. <laughs> we done rented we done a got venue. Production. It's a big deal because you guys mean a lot to us. A lot it's to a us. Big deal we got DC yeah. Young Fly. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> well, so ugly. <laughs> we got Chico <laughs> Beam. <laughs> And we got Carlos Miller. Hello. <laughs> and at this point, we got the third host. I know. Renee. <laughs> Renee been on 50 episodes out of 72. You know, <laughs> you know we got Bree Renee from the A. And we had to get our brothers together. We text them and hit them up. And all of them agreed instantly. They all happen to be in Atlanta. And we're having a fireside chat and a conversation about vulnerability. I can't believe we're actually doing this. I feel like this is like a long time coming. We wanted to make it homey yeah. and get y'all, you know, on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> it, looks, it looks great, man. How do you guys feel? Set the tone, man. Y'all excited? Don't try to echo. Don't try to echo. Y'all done set the tone. I mean, what the fuck you know, I got my glasses on. We got to make y'all set the tone. We don't know how y'all want the tone. Y'all got us out here in the, you know, the good loving hip hop vibe. We don't know if we supposed to whisper or start with an RB verse or something. We want y'all to set the tone, but. I thought we was voting somebody else. I know, right? Yeah, you know what I mean? But. It's nice yeah, to man, set up. You know, I got the five. I'm about to take you, though. You know, we, we been. Been a like part a of, of, of Ain't your, no bet you know, just coming up. We've all been a part of each other's coming up, man. Yeah. I just want to tell y'all, I'm, you know, we all are. We proud of y'all. Mm -hmm. Guys, Guys. Guys. we love y'all. So we've seen y'all in different aspects and journeys of y'all life, and this conversation is about vulnerability. Wait, do y'all know what y'all? Why y'all here? Do y'all know why y'all here? Hell no, nah, yeah. man. <laughs> first, I'm trying to figure this shit out. I mean, I I'm like, like why we outside? Mad. First of all, I'm like, we had a fight. I'm like, oh shit. shit. Handing out lamb chops. We finna be crying. Oh lord. So I figured it was something serious. We got y'all in here. We did pre-interviews. We asked them little questions, but... How, how do you guys feel about the topic for tonight? Like, what did you think when you knew that we were going to be talking about vulnerability? Like, what was the first thing that came to your head? DC? I, I mean, you know, we, I feel like you can only be vulnerable and, and, and get to talk um, about serious things among people that you really rock with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This ain't no talk show, host. This ain't no... Of course, this is going to be huge and is huge, but it's like, we family. Yeah. Nobody can't bring us together and sit down and be like, shit, what you want, really want to talk about yeah. on that type of level if For real. family. For you real. know what yeah. I'm saying? So I feel like that's why, that's the that's the effect I got from it. DC was like, I'll be there. Send text to text. I said, check your email. He said, text me. <laughs> right. I'm not checking no YouTube, no email, no Gmail. Mm -mm. Text me. I text him, no response, but he showed up. Right. That's all that matters. He, he, he said, Damn. I'm going to be there. I <laughs> I mean, I, I said, text it to me. You sent it to me. What do you want me to say? Thanks. I got it. I'm glad, girl. But I, didn't forget, I got your text. I didn't guess. <laughs> Confirmation. Like, did, I the group no, but you did. But I'm saying, I knew he was going to be here. Yeah, I knew yeah. they were all going to be here. And I just, we really, really, really appreciate y'all yeah. for showing up. So, Chico, how did you feel when we invited you and you saw the topic and you knew it was about vulnerability? Yeah, I was cool. It was y'all. So, yeah. so, I was down. I was here. So, um, you know, anytime you, you know, reach out, I'm going to do whatever I can to help you out. And the last time I saw y'all, Y'all was definitely vulnerable. We was in Oakland when them niggas stole all y'all shit. Oh, oh my, my God. God. I was see, with y'all. CC was like, y'all good? I'm yeah, like, we're no, good. No, they're not good. They're we're not, not good. We're not good. You got to know, like, man, they, they look, y'all ain't good, not here by but, yourself. But, but, for sure. That, Can't be hungry. Y'all out there. We hungry. That's what I told him. I said, 
anything. I was like, y'all need some money. Y'all need. They, had no, they had, had no draws. We had nothing. But, you know, that, was fact, that, that was vulnerable. That was vulnerable. Just the fact that y'all chose to come, you know, kick it with me in that state, let me know just how much y'all trust and appreciate me. So, yeah, you know, sure. I'm always be here for you. Oh, I yeah. love you. What about you, Carlos? Oh, here they go. <laughs> <laughs> What do you want from me? <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, is you picked a good one. We we the most vulnerable people out here. Bro. Y'all really are. I know. Watching yeah. Watching y'all show, y'all really are. Okay, so y'all, we had them write down vulnerability <laughs> is and what it I, is to them. So we're gonna start we with this icebreaker. We don't. Yeah, I we have don't know all three of them. We don't know who's who. So I'm gonna read one. Don't tell us. We gotta read that hand. No, no, let us guess. Let us guess. Let us guess. We think it is. See how much we know, y'all. Bree, if you know it's your man, don't say don't say nothing. Why? Can't y'all be right? Why can't be right? She like that's my man. Right. Okay, let's see. Okay, vulnerability is. Ooh, y'all handwriting so ugly. Who is that? Jesus, the ability. They got a scratch. It's a scratch and sniff. Vulnerability is the ability to. Openly. Openly. You just can't read. <laughs> <laughs> inhibitions? No. Do y'all need to display your inhibitions? Okay. No. Uh, Intentions? This is crazy. Sound like somebody's gonna have to say what they wrote. Chico, That's what is it? Chico. Okay. We couldn't even get We have officially found out that these young ladies <laughs> never raised their hands to read in I class. Didn't read. Right. I didn't see it. They were that was struggling. That is triggering that is, vulnerability so is the ability to openly display your inability. 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 That word threw y'all off? It's, yeah, uh, it's, it's no inhibition. <laughs> it's the way he wrote it. Intangible. No, you shut up. <laughs> Openly display your inabilities, like yes. your shortcomings. Yes, right. your oh. vulnerability. So your, being honest a, with the things that you're not confident with, not good at, like openly is saying having that. The, that is having the it, to me is having the ability to be open about those things, and that's why I agree with what Fly said. You have to be very selective about who you let into those parts of you because they can easily be weaponized against you if you give them to the wrong person. You feel like you're super selective with who you're vulnerable with? I'm very super selective wow. with just in general, people in general, but I'm definitely super selective with who I'm vulnerable with just because of the level of vulnerability that I've had to endure throughout my life. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I First thing I ever had to know about myself was death and my father being dead. Yeah. I've been going to look at grass my whole life and wow. to my loved ones. So, it's certain things that you can't conceal when that type of pain is in your life. It's no way you can keep that back. So you got to make sure that the people around you are sufficient enough to be able to take what you've endured. And I know I've endured a lot so I can vet people and see that, OK, from your actions and from your, you know, the way that you conducting yourself in my presence lets me know that you're not a person that I should be indulging in with anything, but especially not vulnerability, because I know that you don't have the capability to be able to conduct yourself properly, period. So you're not going to be able to do it with me, mm -hmm. me in any capacity. Yeah, like, it's a difference between sympathy and empathy. Sympathy is feeling sorry for somebody. Empathy is being able to take in somebody else. Feel it. Feels. Yeah. And, you know, for me, I know that most of the time when you get to talking to people about what you went through nine and a half times out of 10, most motherfuckers don't care. Mm. So that point five percent. Those are your people. That's mm -hmm. your flock. So you got to be very selective. And that's the you community you can out. be vulnerable exactly. with. Mm -hmm. Ooh. That's good. Always gonna give a good answer. It's like, preach, preacher. Yeah, no, seriously. But deep ain't it. He gonna write always. <laughs> What's the title? <laughs> I'm deep ain't it. <laughs> I'm deep ain't it. That's the title of your I'm book. Deep ain't I'm deep ain't it. I'm just gonna write the forward to his book. I'm That's his book. Deep I'm deep ain't it. I'm deep, deep ain't it. I already got it in my head. I'm gonna write a book, but you'll be the first person to see it. Uh, yeah, listen, Period. I'm okay. already just started writing mine. And then Steve that's Harvey right. didn't put this shit. He didn't let him and his people that kind of pressed me out. So. I get y'all since we all know for sure it's called the bright side of bullshit. What? Okay, we got the first. That's right. That's awesome. I love that. We got an exclusive. We always get exclusive. And we're gonna get you guys to read it out loud when it comes out. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh my gosh. Okay. Vulnerability is weakness if not overpowered by faith. Mm, that's DC. That's DC. Of course, that's DC. <laughs> like, hey, you know me, yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. DC. Explain that to us. I mean, that's where I come from. You gotta have a, a, a form of infrastructure of having a solid background and a spiritual background. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? I think we were the last kind of generation, 
that kind of was raised in the like church. Yep. I mean, and we had people that was praying for us. And, mm, and, heavy. And being vulnerable, I, I see a lot of people be vulnerable, they get taken advantage of. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And what comes with that, to me, is like a sign of weakness if you just don't have faith. A lot of people a lot of, take a lot of things that they're going through and try to use that as an excuse for, like how you said, for people to show sympathy. Mm -hmm. You want to show empathy, not mm -hmm. sympathy. And people don't be having faith out here. They just be giving up. And when I come from, it's just a lot of people I see that just has so much potential mm -hmm. in being anything, but they want you to feel sorry for what they're going through right now. Mm -hmm. That they done lost hope mm -hmm. on themselves. Yeah. And it just be like, damn, that's a lot of lost fight. They just don't want to keep fighting. Are you like Chico with the fact that um, you're really selective with who you're vulnerable with? Or are you just like, I'm vulnerable. This is me. I'm open. I'm going to talk. I don't care what you think. I don't care if you judge me. I don't care if you, what you care. I'm going to speak. Or you're very selective with who you're vulnerable with. I just feel like vulnerable mm. is, is not a manly attribute. Really? Nah. We got to talk about it's that. Okay to, it's okay to be open-minded. But like how you say, you got to select a few who you be open-minded with. Because when you be open-minded, I'm trying to find a solution. So basically, mm -hmm. I'm opening it up and I'm telling you my plans in life. Mm -hmm. I'm, 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 tell, I'm talking to a stranger about my life mm -hmm. plans. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That holds a lot of value mm -hmm. to me because mm -hmm. I'm righteous. I don't, this is a whole stranger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just told you my whole layout. Yeah. No. Like, I'm not going to let you pray on my downfall. No. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. A lot of people yeah. do not like <laughs> for you to succeed. Yeah. The unfortunate part is you'll be telling your life plans to somebody who has been around you for years and still a stranger. Ooh. And that's e. the scary part. Mm. You know what I mean? You'll have people that you think are people that you can rely upon and you can trust in. And the whole time, you're talking to a stranger. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's the scary part for a man because a lot of the things that we have to go out into the world and face, we can never give to anybody because it's our cross to bear. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. then you have people who supposedly come into your life to help you, you know, get that the, some of that weight off you and the whole time they just waiting to jump on your back and add something to it so you have to be selective and who you allow to come into your life and know what causes you to react in a certain way because i've seen it so many times like people come into people's lives and just weaponize mm -hmm. the shit that they go through mm -hmm. because you know attention is the new you know currency Okay, you guys, before we continue on with this episode, I have to talk about something really quick. There is nothing worse than going to a doctor's appointment, especially as a mom with all that anxiety and all the rush and having your doctor walk in and you feel like you're being ignored. Yes, that happened to me. And instead of listening to you, asking you how you feel and it feels genuine, the doctor is checking the clock and immediately you regret even going to the doctor and feel like you're just another patient. But good news, I found the solution for all of us, guys. It's ZocDoc. You'll find quality doctors who focus on you listen to you and prioritize your care yes zocdoc is the only free app that lets you find and book doctors who are patient reviewed take your insurance are available when you need them and treat almost every condition under the sun surprise twist might work for podcasts just like every week you have no idea what you'll get with no for sure but not so much for medical care with zocdoc there are no more alarms and no surprises choose from thousands of patient reviewed doctors specialists browse doctor profiles upload and verify your insurance information and get the care you need. Go to ZocDoc.com slash KFS and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top-rated doctor today. Many are available within 24 hours. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash KFS. ZocDoc.com slash KFS. Back to the show, guys. So if you are losing attention from somebody, it's easy to tell when they immediately take something that you told them in confidence and use it to try to get you to react to whatever it is that they're doing and and that's friends, family, all of that. So you have to be strategic with everything when you talk about, as a man at least, when you talk about being, you know, giving somebody the internal parts of who you are, because that's between you and God. So if you choose to let that out, mm -hmm. then you got to be real selective yeah. with who that is. So I want to ask all three of y'all this before we get to Carlos. Do y'all feel like with that, it's easier to be vulnerable with your homies or with women? Like that's what has... Different. That's two different. Okay. Two different vulnerabilities. That's two different vulnerabilities. In what way, though? Like, or why do you separate? Yeah, yeah. Why do you? Because that because your woman requires a different level of softness. Mm. You can tell, like, when you're talking to your friend, your 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 homies, your brotherhood, your circle, you can be raw, unfiltered, and you don't they have don't to cater to feelings. They don't. You don't mm. You don't have to trim nothing. Right. You can say exactly how you man. feel, and right. it's like if right. you're in a respected space, and they know exactly who you are. 
That's how he gonna react. That's how he gonna react. That's how he gonna react. But he not reacting to me. That's just the. That's just how he gonna react. Mm -hmm. So it's it's more it's more open when you with your your friends. When you with your lady, you gotta understand that even if you write. <laughs> or even if you're proving a point, <laughs> you still have to deliver that message with a certain level of softness. Yeah. Yeah, you should. So it can be received. A, yeah, because yeah, she might hear everything that you say. Right. But it's the way that you say it. It's your right. tone. It's mm -hmm. your aggression. It's, but that's the only way that a lot of men know how to convey their feelings. So the mm. approach looks different. So that may look like he's being vulnerable because he's being soft. No, he's being soft so he can give his woman a level of comfort right. as Come on. this is your Which position. Is yeah. right. You're my girl. Yeah. I need to make you feel comfortable. I'm not talking to no man. Right. Yeah. It's a, <laughs> you're not my homeboy. So you might be my friend, yeah. but you yeah. my girl. Yeah. But when I go talk to my partner, it's nigga, like, I ain't looking in his eyes and be like, <laughs> so bro, how was your man? Fuck right, that, man. Right. Why you do that, right, man? Right. You feel me? We more, we more look turf. And so see what like, your what your lady is like, like you said, like the the message may be lost in the emotion. And like a lot of men don't get to just openly express. We get to react to shit. Mm. Cause we're the problem solvers. We're the mm. as a man, we're oh. the end of somebody's rope. Mm. We're somebody's lifeline. Somebody's dependent on us. We're somebody's daddy. We're somebody's brother. Uncle, so it's gonna be different things, different things that people gonna require of him as a father, then as a nephew, then as a son, then as a brother. We have different roles that we have to play. Because and, of and that pressure, to, does that make y'all not be as vulnerable? Cause well, you're like, I have to be. Once you start dealing with a certain kind of problem so many times, when people just bringing you shit to deal with, mm -hmm. you get stuck in reacting to this, being emotional. Okay, damn, let me. So mm -hmm. you can be misconstrued and you don't care. But y'all always bring me the shit to deal with. Mm. So because men are more solution based, mm. like you guys want a solution. When you guys come to each other and you're vulnerable or say you're venting or expressing to each other, are you looking for solutions in one another? No, we're looking for confirmation. Am I tripping? Right. Okay. Got Am I overreacting? You. Right. That's Am I underreacting? Mm -hmm. You know me. What would you do? Right. Mm. Yeah. We're still okay. looking for a solution. Yeah. Right. We're just trying to make sure me. that we on the right, right. path. path. Okay. Okay. Because sometimes your partner can tell you some shit like, I ain't even gonna lie, bro. It can be help. You gotta feel what she coming from and understand. Mm. So maybe I was tripping. Yeah. Maybe I need to calm down. Yeah. Cause I oh, I, you know what I did? You just made me figure out she ain't my partner. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. In one part of the conversation where I acted like she was my partner. Right. But throughout the whole conversation, I was treating her like my girl. But it was mm -hmm. that one particular part mm -hmm. that you overlooked mm -hmm. when you acted like she was your partner. Mm -hmm. And I think as men, sometimes we get the best advice in hindsight. Right. Sometimes your partner can come with the most brilliant shit after. After the fact. <laughs> after the after fact. fact. Like, well, what was you on man, Tuesday? Where was you on my knees? <laughs> right. On no. oh, Tuesday. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. yeah. So when you're vulnerable with women, whether it's your partner or your homegirl or mm -hmm. your, you know, family member, when men decide to be vulnerable with women, what reaction are you looking for? I was just about to ask in that, return. Like, how do you cultivate that space to make you feel comfortable knowing, okay, based on previous interactions with her, I know I can be completely vulnerable. I know when I can open up to a woman. Yeah. How do you know when you can? I know for me, it's a little different. I didn't grow up with my father. So a lot of the discipline and a lot of the, you know, just the way that I was raised, I was raised around women who didn't give me the opportunity to be, you know, to operate in the gray area. I couldn't walk around my house with no attitude. I had to express myself no matter what it was. Mm. If I got an attitude mm. about something, if I'm mad about something, fuck wrong with you, boy. Wow. Walk around here like you got a job for. And that kind of trained me to be forward about what it is that I feel. But I also was taught in that same space don't you be out here telling motherfuckers your business. Mm -hmm. This is what we here for. I'm not, you don't be out there running your mouth about what's going on in here, yeah. out there. This is for us. So it calls you to talk to your community and not everybody. People, yeah. If you my people here, they'll tell you, like, if I'm in my feelings about something, I'm, no matter what it is, I'm going to let you know because I love you and I want you to know how I feel and I never have a conversation about you to nobody else. But in regards to talking to a woman, you have to be very selective because you don't know if you're talking to somebody who's listening to hear or listening to respond in those cases, because there's always, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's conditional, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? You have your desires, I have my desires, 
And if what I'm saying to you doesn't fit what your desire is, your ability to be able to truly understand might be hindered because I'm not saying something that you, you want to hear or even get. To. Yeah. So yeah. That kind of makes me in response as a man, you're going to be able to tell from what your what a woman's response is. At least I can because of the responses that I got from the women who raised me. I know what it looks like when a woman is upset about what I'm saying. I know when they understand it because that was my every day. This is who I had to communicate with to get answers throughout my life. So it gave me a vantage point that lets me see that, okay, when you communicating with your partners, if I'm going to fly, I'm going to the los about something, it's like you said, it's straight, man, this is what it is, nigga, am I tripping? Mm -hmm. But with a woman, you have to be selective because you don't want to say anything about what you're going through that makes her internalize it that she did something wrong. So is it more about have, being heard? It's about being understood. Understood. Yeah, Un okay. Anybody can hear you, but, but it's about being like, understanding. When you're talking to a woman, they always ask you how you feel. Sometimes me and we go through situations and we don't feel anything because we're not. It just it is what it is. Mm -hmm. But you're not feeling anxious. You're I'm not stressed. Not, you're not overwhelmed. I think, but it. I think that's because we don't have allowed, feelings, I think that's because y'all haven't been allowed the opportunity to, to feel because you feel or like something, address what even you if you feel, feel overwhelmed or you're suppressing what. you But feel. as men, we don't feel. We don't have enough feelings to feel something for every fucking thing. Some shit just is. Or you're just not addressing it. No, it's not. It, they don't yeah, exist. You're just a soft ass nigga. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Is you, some you, things we don't care you let about. You down mm -hmm. and you put emotion into it. And all right, everybody went through some shit and did some bad. God mm -hmm. damn. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. just yeah. felt you, you yeah. fucked up about it. Yeah. Yeah. We ain't we ain't taught to be like that. We taught to like how you said. All right, nigga, what? You straight? What's you up? Get up? Move on. Oh, but do you how think life that is? that's hindering okay. us? No, it's not. No, it just make you stronger for the real world so you won't be emotional to downfall. Because mm -hmm. a lot of men go through downfall before we succeed in anything. But a lot of men, because they haven't had a lot of space to feel or address their feelings, I feel like they sometimes suppress it and then they turn to other, like, vices or outlets you know what it or is? holes. We acknowledge the feeling, but we just don't know what that feeling is. Mm -hmm. We like, oh, we sad. But nigga, we ain't moving like we sad. We just like shit. Yeah, we sad. You don't I'm happy luxury. as fuck, but yeah, I, luxury. You don't have the luxury. I know of I'm happy. Like you said, like mm -hmm. that's what we said. But you do acknowledge it. There's I do no, know. Okay, I, I okay, know that. okay, okay, okay. There's no space for. I mean, there's spaces now, you know, because the way that times have changed with the, you know, niggas going to therapy and all of that different stuff that's been popularized in the last five to six years. But coming up in the type of environments we came up in. I didn't see any men who had time to be sitting around talking saying about, about their feelings. Sure. Or talking about their feelings. I didn't see mm -hmm, men yeah. who had time to be worried about nothing. That makes you, a, you open yourself up to be a victim in the environment that I come from when you're walking around with those type of But I do want to make sure we acknowledge that that is okay in certain circumstances because I think a lot of men push through. Every man isn't as strong as you, DC. Every man isn't as strong as you, Chico. Every man isn't as strong and as y'all. I feel like y'all y'all don't have to be. That. That's what I was going to say. I, I don't feel like that's the, not there. The suicide rate is higher with men than women because men feel like they have to do that and they can't take it. Until they yeah. snap. Until, Until they, they snap. snap. You can. You're a soldier. You can. You, you can to a certain ability. Like when you grow up, the things inside of you, scientifically, that how your body is, people don't even understand how emotions is sometimes. It's a part of your, your brain, brain that makes you happy. Yeah. It's a part of your brain that makes you sad. You just think you sad and you think you happy. No, this shit is scientifically working. It works like this. So what is an outlet for a man that feels overwhelmed if he feels like he's right Find there? Find something that makes you happy. Okay. He Keep has... fighting. Yeah, Even figuring it out. Yeah, identify what happiness is to you. Right. Yeah. That's yeah. what most of yeah. us as men have never done. We've never took the time out to figure out what makes us happy. Because you make because we're too busy making happy. everybody yes. else happy. And yes. That, and the thing that, that's that what I'm once talking you about. Do that. You have to be willing to stand on those that, no matter who likes it or who doesn't like it, and that's what makes it difficult for, for men, especially in regards to women. Yeah. Because as a man, if my happiness doesn't align with, with you, you yeah now you unhappy you. yeah now, now you unhappy so i have to be you know willing to be able to be alone in order or to sacrifice, or sacrifice the, happiness. the happiness, happiness that i said that i need to stand on for companionship mm. and that's a decision that most men are always going to choose companionship because shit niggas in jail is lonely like mm -hmm. who picking that if mm -hmm. they have a choice like for me and that's what something that i always find interesting in conversations that I have with women, you know, because everybody know I'm not, 
you know, what my perspective is on relationships yeah. and marriage and all that. Everybody knows. <laughs> I mean, Carla. Look, but, Carla's the greatest. It's not but, funny, but, but, It ain't me, baby. I it ain't me. I always find it funny that the first, one of the first things that women respond to that is, is they relegate me to loneliness. Like, You're going to be lonely. Mm. I'm going to be lonely. How? Because I don't want whatever it is that you you're want. trying to give me. Yeah. So mm -hmm. now I'm, now I'm going to be subjected to being by myself. So because you feel like what it is that makes me happy is not something that's conducive to the normalcy of what makes everybody happy. Now mm -hmm. I'm just going to be a nigga that's going to be lonely. Lonely, yeah. And that's some selfish ass disrespectful shit to say to somebody. Yeah. But then a same person to turn around and be like, niggas ain't shit. So which one is it? Mm. Which one is it? If we come to you and tell you what the it truth is, you and what we want. Yeah. Sub it be subjugated, nigga, you're going to be lonely. Ugh, somebody deal with that and all that. But then if I don't do that, niggas ain't shit. Or if you don't do that, now you're not vulnerable and now you're not opening up and now you're not honest. Hey, that, so I it's mean, like, yeah. ladies, they call we do it have to choose what we want. Yeah. yeah. I, don't, I mean, it's relative <laughs> to your situation. Because <laughs> I always try to be optimistic about shit. It's, it's a place somewhere on this earth that Somebody put up with all your shit. Your bullshit is normal to somebody. Right? Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. We yeah. just don't find the right people that's compatible with our bullshit all the bullshit. time. Right? Yeah. But, I mean, but that's the thing, Lowe's. Do you when you say that, you that, that makes me feel like if you're not leading with your bullshit, then you're just wasting time. Because that's not right. bullshit. It's not really that's bullshit. Vulnerability. But that's vulnerability. But it's not, not, that's it's that's not the bullshit. Vulnerability. It's just the, the way of life. The and he put it up front and said, the hey, honesty. you can pick and choose. Yeah, that's like how he so said, somebody, he gonna end up finding somebody that's like, I was trying to do the same thing with another motherfucker who didn't want that shit. I'm glad, I'm glad I, I found you. you. Yeah. Boop, blam, blam, blam. It may took this long of a journey, but yeah. we got here. We got here. Yeah, that's, that's really. True. It's all about keep fighting that's, through that's the journey. But I feel times. like we. May, I feel like we delay getting there so much because we're not vulnerable with what we really want. We're hiding, we're our, hiding see, our bullshit. Yeah. Not technically just being vulnerable. Like we just have to be open minded and being honest up front. Up front, and then everything will follow after that. If you hiding some shit, trying to be something you ain't. Then you you starting off wrong anyway. Yeah. You going down here anyway. You gotta move with love. You gotta move with a, a great heart. You gotta have great intentions for anything that you do in life. You just can't be no snake, bro. That's mm -hmm. just anything. And I and I think with vulnerability, the vulnerable the vulnerable part is when you get let down, when you know you're gonna get let down and you allow that shit to affect you. When I mean, that's why I said that shit allow weakness if you don't overpower it by faith. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was open minded to allow you to let me down. You let me down. And guess, I knew you was going to yeah. let me down. Mm -hmm. and but I needed going. to learn in that yeah. I'm going to keep going. And make it a positive. And make it a positive thing down, instead of shutting down up. and putting a wall. No, I acknowledge the fact that, oh, yeah, I am human. I felt like something. But what comes, what's good come out of that feeling like something? Then what? That's what I be trying to do. You got to be solution-based. It's not about us being vulnerable. We know how to be open-minded because, like how he said, it been plenty of niggas that have been open-minded and been vulnerable, and then niggas ain't shit. I got to keep that shit to myself. Mm -hmm. I was penalized one, for being myself. I'm penalized man. for being myself. Yeah. I feel like that's the one thing that we do with men that As we... As women? Yes. Yeah. And I feel like that's, like, the consistent thing that I hear. Yeah. It's right. like, you want the truth. What you said to me in that car... I will never. It Who rings. said it? Carlos set me free that day. I was like, "This is the greatest thing." He was like, "Y'all don't want consistency." He was like, "You just want something that's consistent, consistently working in your benefit, but you don't love consistency because you're not consistent." Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's like, "You're not consistent in the things that you do, and the way that you treat that person, and the way mm -hmm. that you love, and the or the like, things that you say." Just you in want. your life in general, yeah. you talk about, "I need consistency. I need consistency." No, you want someone to consistently do Benefit what you want you. them to do, but you don't want consistent, like you don't love consistency. Right. And I think that that's something as women we could be better at is like, don't ask for something. And then when we get it, be mad that we got it. Like, right. give me, like, give me your, give me the truth. Give me the be truth. And then when like, they oh, say it, you a bitch. Or, oh, you soft. Or, oh, think, yeah, or like, yeah. but that's what I'm saying. Then a nigga that's looking at him like, for oh, being yeah. I yeah. came to you, bitch. Now we looked at it soft and I said, this the man thinking like, damn, I'm not a whole ass nigga. Mm -hmm. But I was that one I time where, I, where needed, I, I, yeah. I, I needed comfort and I needed help to find a solution because we do need y'all help to be to remind us we are kings. Yeah. We need that help because yeah. y'all are that nurturers. That power, that love, so that that we have to appreciate yeah. that. And then that's a power that y'all have for, for a nigga. 
You yeah. feel what I'm saying? And then vice versa, even with a nigga, I always got to say, you got to appreciate a woman. We have to step back and, and rewrite a lot of our wrongs, too. We have to right. appreciate the woman figure, the nurturer that God Femininity. put on this yep. earth because yep. this is the best thing for us. And I don't know so, what you Well, I was going to say, I had a question. So, like, everybody keeps saying, you just have to be completely honest and completely truthful upfront about what your bullshit is, right? But then it's like you said, there's a great level of responsibility that comes with that because you got to pick and choose who you who can you do that with. Vulnerable with. But how do you find or search for that discernment with the neck like say you have been hurt like you said mm -hmm. a guy confided in you and you hurt his feelings shut him down mm -hmm. now he feel like i can't even be vulnerable with you no more you go on to the next girl how do you find that that fine balance of i'm gonna be honest and real of who i am mm -hmm. but i'm gonna have the discernment or the responsibility over my feelings mm -hmm. to not let you hurt me or to pick the right person mm -hmm. it's like a dance so it's like what do you do or how do you find that what you about to say, love? I'll be completely honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> then, once you get hurt a certain way, mm. you don't you don't never get hurt the same way twice. Ooh, we. Because men, we we familiar with patterns because we pretty much do the same shit mm -hmm. over and over again. Mm -hmm. And I was gonna say earlier, a lot of women would be happier with the guys that they're with if they stopped trying to rush the men to change. Right. It takes men a long time to become the man that they're going to be. Mm -hmm. And sometimes women get, when the relationship gets stagnant, patient, yeah. and then you decide that this is not for me no more. Mm -hmm. That's when a man has a lot of shit to figure out. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. cause now you left, you've been with this person, you gave everything. It's like, what was supposed to happen? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you end up, going through the same phases over and over again. But once you get hurt, say you get cheated on, or a bitch lied to you, mm -hmm. or you get hurt to the, you hear men, when men talk, you keep hearing the men say, the bitches, the bitches, the hoes, the hoes is like, you hurt and don't even know it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or then you can tell like the next, the, the next phase of the healing is it go from bitches and hoes to the females. Mm -hmm. Like nigga, one day you're gonna eventually call them women. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, you can you can see the signs of when a man is hurt mm -hmm. or when he's too emotional. Mm -hmm. The dude who's, mm -hmm. it's it's a running joke on social media with the dude who's always like, man, where the hoes at? Where the hoes at? Mm -hmm. Man, where the hoes? Mm -hmm. What hurt? Then they get around some <laughs> women and be like. Quiet. Yep. Church yep. mouth. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yep. I think You wasn't never looking for him. You was trying to impress us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And you, know, you really want to be loved. That's something that <laughs> At the I, end of the day. I, well, I want a hug. <laughs> <laughs> That's something that I always commend our relationship as brothers and because we've had conversations about everything that you can have a conversation about and we've been through everything that you can go through from the, the greatest feelings to the, I'm talking about the worst type of pain that you can deal with. So in that you realize that most of the time when, like you said, when a man gets hurt, he's not being hurt for, for the first time because he's usually been hurt by something throughout his life that has kind of shaped his idea of how he reacts to pain. Hey, KFS fam. This episode of Know For Sure is brought to you by the new L'Oreal Paris Bright Reveal Dark Spot Serum and Broad Spectrum SPF 50 Daily Lotion. Dark spots, game over. Ever since summer ended, I've noticed an increase in sunspots, you guys. The Bright Reveal Dark Spot Serum visibly fades all type of dark spots up to 40%. And after two weeks, skin looks clearer. You guys, it's so amazing. It will brighten up your skin, clear up your skin. And I know, from experience. This serum is made up niacinamide, a top dermatologist recommended brightening ingredient that helps reduce the appearance of dark spots and antioxidant ferulic acid and amino sulfonic to help gently exfoliate skin surface cells. If you want to get rid of your dark spots, y'all, SPF is so important because 100% of dark spots are intensified by the sun. The Bright Reveal SPS 50 Daily UV Lotion is a lightweight and non-greasy sunscreen that has an invisible texture, y'all, and it primes with 
well with makeup so you can stay protected every single day. The Bright Reveal SPF 50 Daily UV Lotion includes UVA, UVB filters to provide broad spectrum protection from UVA aging and UVB burning rays and antioxidants, vitamin C and E to help protect against environmental damage caused by free radicals, y'all. Listen, you guys, paired together, this Derma Validated Duo visibly reduces the look of dark spots in just one week. Discover the new Bright Reveal Dark Spot Duo. Visit Target online and in stores to buy yours today. So when you move forward, if you haven't taken the time, in my opinion, as a man to separate yourself from what everybody else wants from you and do that internal thing that make you say, okay, who am I? What do I want? What am I willing to do? Willing not to do? And establish that moving forward, you're always going to be looking for somebody to satisfy something in you that you might not even need to be trying to get satisfied. Mm. Right. Yeah. So mm. basically, I feel like the highest level of respect that I could give to a woman is letting you know exactly who I am on the journey that I've taken on my own. Mm -hmm. You didn't have nothing to do with it. You don't have to have anything to but do with it. But this is who I am right now. you choose to want yep. to be a part of yep. it, this is what it looks like. Now, after that, if anything happens against whatever it is you establish and I establish that we're going to do with each other, then you get into how you feel about a person's character and all that. But that's secondary. If you make a choice, then make sure you make the right choice. Like me and him have conversations. We all have conversations about everything. And we've never uh, agreed on our relationship beliefs, but that don't make us not be able to be partners. Yeah. But if I disagree with a woman, then you like, fuck you, bitch ass. Right. <laughs> Can I ask you a question though, Chico? Do you think that may, I don't know, I'm just asking, is that something happened to make you feel that way? So is that a defense mechanism or a wall put up to protect yourself from actually being vulnerable? No, 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 not at all. Okay. Like, it's a choice. It's a choice. Okay. He, so he realized the pattern. It's a choice. Like, mm. I, I mm. you know, I realized that I can never learn everything about myself from myself. So I'm always going to need somebody to be able to watch my blind spots. For sure. You know what I mean? In every capacity. But I'm just not willing to play a game that I don't want to play. You're not going to force me to play basketball when I don't have to. If you want to, that's fine. Right. But I don't want to play. Right. Okay. So you're not going to make me. I don't want to play. Me. I like you're soccer. Not, you're not going to right. I'm yeah. out here. I, Heather not, Ball, please. Yeah, right. Please you're not going to gonna me. force me to do something that I personally don't agree with. And I've done the things necessary for myself to be able to thoroughly explain why I don't agree with it. Yeah. Okay. But I don't yeah, owe okay. you that either. Yeah. Okay. So this, yeah. if you are, and that's something that I, you know, the arrogance. And ego of a man is something that's always discussed. I don't think we discuss the arrogance and ego of the woman enough mm -hmm. because y'all be arrogant and egotistical mm -hmm. immediately. Like, and not in a way of a man where we come in boasting and bragging and maybe showing off. Y'all be egotistical and being able to, like, you turn into a uh, psychic. Now you, I tell you something you don't like, you going to tell me everything that's going to happen to me, mm -hmm. bitch, going to, nigga, you didn't. And it's mm -hmm. like, ma'am. How do you know all of this about me? And we just met at yeah. this Applebee. Been with some dangerous yeah. women. Yeah. 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 But you don't want me? But yeah, Fuck but that's, you, motherfucker. That's what happens, that's what oh, happens when you lead the conversation with something that is not that's honest. complacent. Right. And that most niggas is, where you from? How you? You, you know, like, I'm you not basically not telling her your standards up front. Like, like everybody got standards. Uh, yeah. uh, well, I'm going to tell you straight up. Oh, I ain't dealing with this. I ain't dealing yeah. with this. I ain't dealing yeah. with this. Yeah. She just gave me the whole rundown. And what I'm supposed to sit here and choose, like, and sit here and act like I ain't like now one of that shit she just said. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I ain't like that. Yeah. Come on, baby. For some pussy. Yeah. Right. You finna, this is a whole <laughs> letdown Bruh, from Jesus the jump. Christ. So if she been honest and you been honest, I feel like that's how any great relationship is just gonna succeed. Yeah. And vulnerability comes with that because you don't vulnerability is not forced. You will realize it afterwards that. What the? Oh, wow. What was that? Yeah, yeah. Right. For sure. I can't wait. Hold on, wait a minute. Hold on, wait a minute. I just told them everything. That was two hours of straight talking. Yeah. Wait, I ain't trying to do that all the time. Right. <laughs> How the hell that shit happened? Right. I'm crying. <laughs> that was good. That was, that was great. But I noticed it. Mm -hmm. So let me figure out why do I like that energy and what is it? Because vulnerability, like what you were saying, I, I, I forgot what you were saying earlier. You were like, how do you know? Because of the discernment. The spirit will lead you. Mm -hmm. You feel me? You don't have to be 
like you tell somebody your whole plan. Mm -hmm. You gotta speak in parables. You like, let me see how they'll react. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Throw a little curve yeah. off. Little breadcrumb. Yeah. Let me throw a little yeah. breadcrumb right here. Let That's me see it. what they say off this one. Boom, hey. And I okay, I hit a response. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. Okay. Let me see what they say off this yeah. one. Phew. This is like then later on in the you know, in down in line, you'll see this is why they understood what you said. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because this is a person that you can be open with. Mm -hmm. Even yeah. if y'all not together. This is a great friend. Yeah. 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 Sure. They don't always Everything have to don't have to sex. be romantic. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I hate God. that thought. Damn. Man. <laughs> like, <laughs> everything I do don't want to fuck you. Yeah. 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 <laughs> like, you know what I mean? And that's the thing. To me, the least valuable thing on a woman is the pussy at this point in my life. Wow. That's the least valuable oh, thing. The bitch gonna be at the house like, what are you like? You know what I mean? This shit here, hit. Yeah, like who You're gives a fuck? Like I've had more than enough pussy. Like, ma'am, that 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 holds no value. Like over here, and if you expect me to change who I am to get that from you, what type of nigga does that make me at Crazy. this point in my life? If you tell me something that I know I'm not with, and I pretend to do it to Just get some to, pussy, yeah. Uh -huh. That's crazy. Weed, yeah. sir. Weed. Yeah. You're a nasty man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, get the fuck out of here. But it, it comes to Everybody it. have a phase in their life where you get in character for some pussy. Right. You, gotta right. 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 you gotta get in character. <laughs> you a Sagittarius? <laughs> Shut the fuck <laughs> <laughs> Did you know the moon is in Venus right now? I knew it was crazy because when I walked I in here, it. I felt it. <laughs> I'm an earth sign. I felt it. I'm an earth sign too. For real? Uh -huh. When's your birthday? I think I'm. Round stage, Terry. Be lying. <laughs> Boy, nigga would change his whole birthday for some pussy. But, but see, when, you, when, you, when, when you get older. Nigga be in that time. I'm a Scorpio too. Nigga. You are a Leo. You a Leo. <laughs> but when you get older, you realize that shit. It, it doesn't get it's you pointless. nowhere. Yeah. Yeah. It's not yeah. saying that the pussy don't hold no value. It's like, nigga, something you have gotten a hundred of times, how did what? that put you on another pedestal? Mm -hmm. right. yeah. And what you dealing with after it? The now rules she of crazy. engagement now are too different right? for a nigga ever to you be put on another go pedestal back to say for some pussy. What I you said earlier, you didn't specific... appreciate the woman. Mm -hmm. yeah. You didn't take the time out to know this woman. You didn't take the time out to figure out to her build. strengths, yeah. Yeah. her weaknesses. Yeah. Who is she? Yeah. You went straight for the hoo hoo, and then it's like, it comes with way more problems. Way too much. You. Just go ahead and just build a relationship with it so you can appreciate her as a woman. And see if you even yeah. like her as a woman. Not even that. It's just she's who a, she is she's as a, a person. great person. She's a woman that God has put here on this earth for you. She has way more to give than some coochie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can I ask y'all a question just for the women? Because I feel like hearing like the conversation we had earlier mm -hmm. with the other men and then like listening to them, it's like <laughs> it's so different. Well, it's different, but like the overall consensus is like men are very selective with us. For sure. And I think for me, I'm like. And I don't, I'm not trying to say this in like a selfish or like egotistical way, but it's like if I'm in a relationship with somebody, I really want that to be my person where we share all those walls that, are broken. Yeah, down. like this is the one person that I can share everything be with. Be completely yeah. stripped and like, and to know that not I'm judge. not that safe place for him. Right. Like it's sad. to know that. And then I think about like what you were saying as far as. What Carlos was saying as far as like it takes men a while to get to a certain level of like maturity and growth. Like I think about that with my ex-husband and like that's a very, I get it because I feel like he had that same type of response. Like, you know, I'm not going to get everything overnight or, or in your time. Yeah. Your time. Right, train, give me a minute. I'm, I'm, I'm going to so give you a little scary secret. I'm going to give you a little us. secret. Uh, let me just say, okay. it's scary for us as well, or y'all can tell me what y'all think, but for, for me, I feel like it's such a scary thing to be in a relationship and not see that person, no fruit of like the change is gonna come, mm -hmm. but like I'm, but I'm supposed to allow you to lead me. Just like I believe. want to give yeah. you that position and that role and that respect, but you're not, I don't see any fruits of that, and I get that it might take you time, but that is a very, like, you talk about It's like trusting blindly. Yes, I'm like, Pumping. I'm out here. That's all trust is. Blindly trusting. But, but you're, but it, we're, it depends you guys on what want the man us is to doing. let you lead us, and I'm like, you're. So what I was gonna say, and about your question about earlier versus now, and then it's crazy you brought up leadership, because that's what I was hearing, and I was gonna ask, like, how, as a man, if you're being super selective with your vulnerability, and you're supposed to lead me, 
how am I supposed to be 100% completely vulnerable for, for you to trust me? You know what I mean? Yeah. But you aren't the lead. You showing You're not lead leading in vulnerability. In vulnerability. Yeah. So, but you want, you require that same 100% transparency and vulnerability of your woman. Because you're the That's first, you the the first most, person that ever done, done show him leadership qualities and then told him that he lead him. The women before, like he said, been the one, you ain't shit. Mm. You ain't this, you ain't that. A lot of us have the potential, but if we don't recognize it in ourselves first, then it's just a lost quality. Right. Until Plus, it clicks. But like you said, I feel you. You ain't got time to wait, but it's not the time, it's just that it's scary. To, but see, like, that's what that's what the whole point of trust, picking like, a leader is. You can't say you a good leader until the fire get too hot for you and now you questioning the leadership. Mm -hmm. That's why we that's why we selected a leader. So when the shit get too hot in here, somebody can they keep know everybody what to do. calm. Got mm -hmm. you. Don't question the leadership now when shit not going your way or you're not seeing the, the results immediately. So you're saying you have to see that up You got to trust yeah. me in the time in when the... shit is hot. That's why I'm the leader. You said that mm -hmm. I was the best one at handling shit under pressure. Mm -hmm. So now that the pressure's on and it's the fourth quarter, the game ain't over because the pressure on right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We still got the game to play. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when we get through this shit and it ain't no more fire, I know you don't trust me to lead. Mm -hmm. So the next time there's an emergency, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna save myself. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Because you didn't want you don't want to be part of the team. You like shit when it's calm and it's good, but when the pressure up, oh, you ain't shit as a leader. I don't want to be on this shit. That's so what's you're, the, you're risking everybody's life when you panicking mm -hmm. like that. And sometimes false so these just making fires sure can they be have false. those qualities before you commit. But something yeah, gotta but, be. But, yeah. some, but sometimes yeah. these fires are false or false signs. So the other people can show you who they are. It's yeah. like God yeah, showing yeah, you. That's yeah. what it is. Hold tight, yeah. you finna go through something, but you don't need that motherfucker right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. And it's like, ooh. Mm -hmm. We started with ten, and then but three trust. Everybody else jump ship. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we yeah. lost everybody who didn't trust us. So mm -hmm. weird. Everything. Some sometimes it should be a pump face. All about how you react to it. Like, oh, okay, that boy. That wasn't even good. a real <laughs> fire. Yeah. He that didn't flinch. That boy didn't flinch. Yeah. That wasn't even a real one. Yeah. Say no more. Say no more. Say no yeah. more. He prepared. And I think I, I personally think it's a warp form of thinking in my opinion that think that because you met somebody that they supposed to be your your best friend your best roommate your best partner your be and all of these things mm. you put into one person if you went to get a job and you went to sign up for the job and you go let's say you go to be a firefighter and then you go in there and they tell you all right well you the firefighter you got the job now you got to cook all the meals you got to clean the firehouse. Mm. You got to go out and change the no, water. No, 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 no. I just came to fight fire. No, 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 no. I know and you, you a firefighter. you got to slide down the pole, That's boy. a good firefighter. But you got to clean the You got to do <laughs> all of these the things. No, 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 no. I'm just, just fire. Just call me when it's fire. Oh, uh, well, I'm, uh, well, I, you got to get your ass in the truck, my boy. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you put, and, and men and women are, are guilty of this. Like, I don't understand how because like when they say your soulmate, like when you, if a person doesn't check all of all these the boxes, boxes yeah. that's not your soulmate because right. they're not 100% perfect for what you feel like you need to Ooh, check no, off I the think, soulmate. I list. think the soulmate is you're not 100% perfect, but yeah. I love you anyway. Yeah. But see, you have to And you're not the best at everything, you have and to I've seen your worst. what those yeah. things are. You have to get through that fire, like you right. said, to yeah. know that. Nigga, I thought you, I, you said, because you know, as men, uh, a lot of times we'll come in and act like we're going to do all them jobs yeah, you said. Right. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Yeah, I, got I, you. I, I know how to cook shrimp and all types of shit. Just give me the job. I'll take it. Yeah. Yeah. And it takes you to know that this nigga a firefighter. So even though he can't cook shrimp, he ain't supposed to be cooking no goddamn shrimp. Right, right, right. This right. nigga yeah. fight fires like a motherfucker. Yeah. But the nigga so cooks shrimp like the pressure, like up, pressure up and this fire up, I know my nigga gonna put this bitch I, out. I, out. Yeah. Right. yeah, I can hire somebody to but make. But I'll tell shrimp. you, I'll yeah. tell you this though. Being, I used to have that mentality, and now that I'm not married anymore, I don't need you to be my everything because you can't be. You can't. I get yeah. that now. Yeah. yeah. But being in the position of having to be public figures, I do need to be able to come home and strip myself bare because I have to be on for everybody all the time. Mm -hmm. Being a mom, I got to be on. Mm -hmm. Being a business partner, I got to be on. Being a, a friend, I got to be on. Be Being a daughter, camera. I have to be on. So when I come home, I don't need you to be my everything, but you have to at least be a safe place where I can take all of this off and be, and be naked I, in front of you and and not feel like judged. You know, or, like, yeah. you know how it is when you going through it with your partner mm -hmm. and like when y'all are good, you can get naked in front of him and it's no big deal. But then when y'all fight 
fighting, it's like, shut the door. For I don't sure. want you to see me like this. Do you see? Show me them mad titties. I want to see them titties when they mad. I want to see them titties when they sad. get a little bit more, you know, you want to. I think I feel that way emotionally. Yeah. For sure, I feel closed off. And I do agree with you. Like, I have, if I have to perform every time, and I feel the same way for men. I feel like, especially, like you said, being in the limelight, you have to perform, you have to be on, you have to fight the world every time you go outside. You don't want to feel like that at the house. I need to know. DC Young. 100% yourself. Uh, uncut, yeah. honest, it's not ugly. that you might be saying, but you're my safety place. And this is something that I say in response to what you just said. I'm not going if if you you can come and be as naked as you want to be, but don't penalize me for you not being able to pull on me the things that you chose to be. Like you made decisions to you a mother because you wanted to be a mother. You a person are you a person that goes out into the public and becomes a public persona because you chose that the things that the world are going to give you come to me with mm. that first because the shit that you chose you chose so mm -hmm. you should have a responsibility as a grown person to be able to manage a certain level of that to where every time you come home you ain't complaining about it just gets overwhelming yeah. it just gets overwhelming but that's when a man this is that's, That's why we started out. This is where we come back. Responsibility. Yep. This, you have to let people unload their shit on you. Un sometimes, unload the whether shit you on want me. To or not. But by you being my girl, I have to find this, and this is the only place because I have to find a level of how to be soft on a level of comfort while I still show strength. Mm. You see mm. the, you you see the, the dilemma? Yeah. To That's the what world. I said, the responsibility. Remember, you see what I'm That's saying? Crazy. And, I, and I can only get that from my girl. Friends, it's like, I, might, but, I might cry with you. But check, I'm this, a out. Whole, I'm, I, I'm but a... check this out. This is where it helps us in a way. Because when we go outside, there's, there's going to be some form of fashion where we have to soften up. Will we still be manly so we don't we're overreact? Mm -hmm. you gotta, that's the, mm -hmm. that's, the, that's mm -hmm. one of the biggest I know tests I gotta, for us I got to know men. how to. Dial okay, back. hold up. I learned this from, I know how to talk with my woman, so I got to be charismatic with this situation. Yeah, I got to soften the yeah. situation up yeah. so it can work in my benefit. Yeah. Because like if I raw, 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 I ain't going to get no more. Yeah. Right, yeah. And, yeah. and that's what I mean in regards yeah. to me saying, Bree, in, in the things that you chose, like, I'm there for everything. I'm there for whatever, but a lot of times I feel like men get penalized for not being as soft as they can for stuff that you did before you came into my life. There's things that we're going to develop together that, you know, we both are going to make choices as a unit if we become that. But if you come with certain things, those things are things that you should have managed before enough for us to be able to not have that be the main source of our issues because the world <laughs> is going to give us new problems that we can't control every day as men and women. Every day we go outside, I got to go out. It's a war going on outside no man is safe from. It's always something. It's a dragon to slay every day mm -hmm. as a man out here. It mm -hmm. don't matter what you do for a living. If you get up and you go face the world, it's some shit you got to deal with every single day. And when you come home and your woman is like, well, some shit, some shit, some shit that ain't got nothing to do with me first, then it's like, what the fuck am I doing here? Like, it's no point in me being here because I know that you don't have the mental capability to handle the same things that I got to go outside and handle. Not that it's your job as a woman, because I don't, I don't think that that is. But sometimes, as a man, that outside fight can sometimes you even if you win, you got your ass whooped up until you the mm. last couple seconds of the fight. Yeah, I think <laughs> the, it I mean, what the I was last, I'm talking about this, I, the, the world is whooping your ass because it's it's a build that we all have. Both of our us lost our mamas. Fly lost his partner. You know what I mean? Like. We have been through things that we got to wear for the rest of our lives on top of all of the other shit that we had to wear before. It's like them outfits get extra heavy but that's, and you still got to fight. But, but I mean, like, that's why you got four hands instead of two. So if I come into this relationship, you saying you got to carry all your stuff you came with. I got to carry all my stuff I came with and then we can carry stuff together. But I feel like it's like, hey, here go my shit. Here go your yes, shit. Let's, and all, let's yeah. carry this shit together. Because I'm going to carry this bag. I got to help you with, it, with yeah, your shit Yeah, we got to well. be able to help each other. Even if no, it's I not agree. your responsibility. I agree with that. But I, there's still a certain level of responsibility that we have as individuals to maintain our own mental peace of mind. Yeah, it's, it's, I have a response. I, I'm not. I get what you're saying, mm -hmm. and you know, I understand. But I'm just saying that there's a level of when you come into expectation, a, a, a expectation on a man. Expectation when it comes to us, 
that's unrealistic. But I feel that way about women, though. Yeah, I, I feel, feel, like about, I was I feel like we that. have an unrealistic expectation oh, to always hold shit together for everybody. Yeah. And I understand that y'all feel that way in the sense of like, in what capacity? But, but we being, have to take some of that off of y'all, off of y'all shoulders to show y'all, because that's what. Hold on, not to cut from. you off, bro. But that's a lot of that's that's why men don't share, overshare, because we don't want you, the woman in the in the situation to have to be worried about. Well, I don't know what's gonna happen, or right. you mm -hmm. might be put that little bit that you you think that you sharing, or mm -hmm. you splitting the responsibility. That might be the shit that make her break. That might be too much. She dealing with enough. Mm. People at her job said said this about her hat this week. Blah 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 blah. Shit. It's like we know that we don't have the capacity to micromanage all this shit, and we not def definitely about to bring home some extra shit to be like this nigga always got something going on. It's always something with we all know a nigga yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. It's like even if they mean problem. good, it's like I can't yeah. fuck with you because you won't bullshit all the time. All the time. Never but brought my I problem. Mean, I never, I never was open to be like, oh, how this shit made me feel. I just did it. So right. it never looked like shit affected me. But man, please, I wanted to say something, complain, but I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I don't ever want my woman to feel like, oh man, he I'm shut down on you. Yeah. I'm, he, he, I'm breaking. I ain't breaking for shit. I'm just being like the regular human. Yeah. So I think, uh, uh, I yeah. One thing you... that y'all could do, I was gonna oh. say, like, with, with feeling like that, you could ask your woman, like, hey, are you in a space where I can vent to you or can I? can you receive what I'm about to give? Because it might be a lot of benefit that come from that. Yeah. Right. Like the right woman will help alleviate the heaviness <laughs> of mm -hmm. it. Also the right asset and partner can help you strategize mm -hmm. or Be plan. solution based. And solution the right woman that, is gonna have being a, a natural, good listener. Yeah, and she na naturally as women, we have wisdom in us. Yeah. Let me say that nurturing. It's we true. have it in us and, it, and if, but men don't come to us to because to seek wisdom because and it's niggas in ain't shit. We weak. It's not. It's not a natural. I'm not saying that you don't have it in it because you do. Mm -hmm. It's not. You just don't see it every day where a woman is trying to uplift. Well, a woman creates that space for like, y'all to listen, do that. I know you got all this shit going yeah. on, but guess what? You can, can deal it. with it yeah. just by you saying that. Saying that, you recharged. You charged yeah. up. Oh, you yeah, can I, deal I get with that it. now. Ooh, I get leading with questions and being like, what do you think about this? Right. How do you feel about what do you like? I get it now where I didn't get it before, where I was probably very critical and being like, well, why don't you get it? Like, why figure you, it out. Yeah. Like, yeah. Why don't you even, yeah. even like, yeah. why, I get it, but right. I get approaching I it better now with like a question like how do you feel about that or like i think that you can figure this out like yeah. i believe that I you're believe i you. believe in you i believe, I believe you have a solution. Gives him room yeah. and motivation i have a like, question I got for y'all as the ladies like you know just you know coming from my personal standpoint you you were married you know both of you y'all in a relationship like as a man, I'm single. with all of the things, <laughs> I mean, like my bad. Again? 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 <laughs> Don't do her. Don't do her. Oh my God. And what are you laughing at? You ain't gonna never get him no way. I didn't know he was gonna say that. You gonna marry a robot. <laughs> I love you, me, no. <laughs> but you know, I, I want to know y'all personal opinions on you know, um, like we've been talking about you know, kind of pouring on your partner and all that, and the person being a hundred for everything as women. What I always wonder, what is it that makes y'all so frustrated when you find out a man has been giving himself to another woman in ways he's been giving himself to you outside of sexually, but I'm talking about what we're talking about in the vulnerability. Like, what is it that really triggers that frustration and that anger that comes from y'all when y'all find out that all these things that you may not, like what you just said, mm -hmm. figure it out. And mm -hmm. then they like, all right, my other bitch helped me. Mm -hmm. Like, what is it that causes the frustration in that from y'all perspective if you, you know, Understand because it. women hate I each mean, other. I mean, it might not. Uh, well, no. I mean, no. I, I, we know that. And I want to get it from women. No, no. 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 <laughs> we know that. that but I want ego, the ladies to. You want to feel special. special. I, I, I want. What you say? They gonna lick on some cooch? Shut up. <laughs> I want to feel that. I want to feel like. I'm we have one. cultivated a relationship, a safe space enough to where you can come to me. And, it, and you do question that, whether it's pride, ego, whatever. Damn, why he don't trust me like that? Why he don't, mm -hmm. what have, am I not doing to where you can't come to me for that? Okay. Be, because all of us are great women. And I right. truly believe that. I stand by that. Our intents are pure. We not out here like trying to finesse niggas and that, whatever. I believe we're great women. So we want our man to feel like 
yes, I have good character. Yes, mm -hmm. I'm a safe space. Yes, you can trust me. Yes, I'm not going to judge you if I see a tear far fall from your face. Mm -hmm. I want to feel they that. They always say that. No. Oh, man, we you are talking about in front of your woman, You might as well leave now. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to the Know For Sure podcast. Make sure you keep the conversation going and use our hashtag KnowForSurePod. Yes, we want to see you guys share the hashtag KnowForSurePod on all social media platforms. We want to keep the conversation going. And follow us on all social media platforms, Instagram and Twitter, KnowForSurePod.